Ooh, the start of a new era for Ruby. Starting off with this amazing animation of the Grimm crawling out of a puddle is a 10 out of 10 idea. It shows off what their new engine is capable of, soothing any people's worries about the shift out of Poser. Unfortunately, Rooster Teeth will get lazier and lazier when it comes to Maya, so this one shot of a puddle actually ends up being leagues better than the rest of the show that follows it. I really liked introducing Salem's Council. I'm a huge fan of evil councils when it comes to fantasy stories. The idea that there are more and more powerful threats that the heroes need to face, each one with their own unique set of skills, is very exciting. But, well, let's just say that doesn't exactly end up happening with Ruby. Following up the honestly intriguing scene of Salem setting up the villains' next steps with Oscar's introduction, was weird. Having him wake up as the transition makes it seem like he's seeing the villains in a dream or something. But that doesn't ever really get brought up or anything, so that can't be the case. Later, he looks off into the distance and we cut to Ranger walking through the woods, implying that he's aware of their presence or that they might be nearby his farm, but that also doesn't get brought up again. Honestly, introducing Oscar into the story was going to be weird no matter what. He's a very sudden addition to the lore and the cast. Would it didn't help that his scene is so weirdly sandwiched between two scenes in a way that seem like they're setting up ideas that never end up actually happening. Ranger's fight is fine, I guess? Lots of fun effects, again showing off what Maya is capable of, but also, again, this level of detail will not be seen in the future of the show. Also, they stop fighting far too frequently. Not only the infamous scene where Jean suggests they just try more, and then that actually works somehow, but Pepper throughout the whole fight, you can really feel things stop and go. A bit like when there's a new driver in a car that keeps hitting the pedal too hard too fast. That being said though, the best thing of this episode is the animation. I've already pointed out the beautiful effects and I cannot understate it. They are beautiful. They try to use dynamic shading and lighting. Yes, the fight is stop and go, but when they go, it does look amazing. There's a great sense of weight and personality with the animations. Honestly, it's a great idea to start the volume on such a high note. It easily hooks the viewer into sticking around this way. The worst thing in this episode is definitely the garbage attempts at comedy. I already mentioned try harder, but Ruby screaming, laughing like a maniac because Jean has a cute character on his hoodie is legitimately one of the stupidest moments in all of cinema. Tell me you're trying too hard without telling me you're trying too hard. Lindsay's voice for Ruby has also reached such a high pitch that Ruby's dialogue is now actually painful to listen to. It's got a cute little bunny rabbit! I'd rank this episode as number four for the volume. Its choppy pacing is what's really holding it back from being in the top three, but it's still a really fun start for this new step of the adventure. What are those? They are my Crocs. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be reviewing a new episode of Ruby every day for the month of October. There's a handy dandy playlist of all the episodes in order and a playlist from last year where I covered volumes one through three. I hope you all have fun with the series. If you want to see the next episode a day early, consider becoming a patron. On that note, shout out to my $10 patrons. You're all amazing. Andrew, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, Classy Critic, Noah Perkins, Sunny Shy, Jake, Amber, Hype Man, Isaiah, Scaring Crows, Not All That Evil, Holly, Boy Howdy Boy, Jacob, Ben Sketchbook, Rain, Omega Fighter, Trash, Wild Pilot, Josh, Twisty, Juan, Bunkin' Duncan, Lycan 99, Hoodie Angel, Ranger, Hot Mutt Butt, Cloudy Days, The Enigma, C1 Trooper, Sean, Primo Rune, Steve, and Overhypen.